welcome back to Rolando Estacada. My name is Rolando. This will be a bilingual broadcast para rin sa mga kababayan ko sa Pilipinas. So we're going to broadcast it both in English and in Tagalog. And for today's episode, we will be covering the Filipino Bali song, specifically with combatives in mind. Kailangan natin maintindihan that when we are talking about Filipino Bali song, there are several pieces of the Bali song that we have to think about in terms of its function. Kasi hindi lang pwede na gamitin natin ito ng papatayan. There are many things that we have to consider when it comes to the uses of the balisong. First and foremost, impact. Pangtama ng balisong na ito. In that we can use it for impact, specifically with use of the butt end, where the latch is, or the top end over here, depending on the kind of grip that you are using. Especially when you draw. Pwede mo na siyang batukan ng ganito or pang ganito. And it will really hurt. It can do a lot of damage. There was a study used by a knife combatives expert here in the United States named Bob Casper. At ang ginagamit niya sa study niyon is Filipino martial arts. They were using knife fighting techniques. And nung ginagamit nila yung Filipino martial arts, meron silang nakita that during that study, during the sparring, they found that the majority of knockouts is panggamit ng punyo. Which means that when you are striking with the butt end of the knife, it resulted in knockouts. So, we cannot overestimate ang panggamit ng balisong tungkol sa impact weapon. If we use this as an impact tool for the purposes of self-defense, this comes in very handy. Especially because ergonomic ang design. So, paggamit mo ng ganito, maganda na at talagang malakas ang grip ninyo. This is a very strong ergonomic grip. So that's number one. We're going to be covering a lot of impact uses ng balisong. Then we also have flexible opportunities, flexible skill, meaning paggamit natin ito at ang hinahawak natin is the safe grip, we can use this as a flexible weapon to hit across. This also allows us na kung nag-aagawan, meaning we are fighting for the tool, we can also use this as a grip. So now, dalawa na ang pagkapit mo sa balisong. That's the other option. The third option is also ballistic. Pwede mong mahit siya sa kalaban mo at it's very dangerous to use as well. I don't cover either of these in this current video. The last one, and this is final option, is edged weapon. Primarily for slashing, cutting, at Pangtusok. So we will be covering that option as well. But I will say that as far as the traditional use and training ng Filipino balisong, lethal option should be the absolute last option. Pinapakita ko ito in this video for educational purposes so that we can understand and appreciate the tool that we love to collect and we love to admire. So without further ado, I'd love to share with you my understanding in my practices of Rolando Estacada Filipino Balisong Combatives. Salamat naman po! Ang gagamitin natin ay Full Brass Balisong 29 from none other than Sir Louis Ambazon. This traditional handmade balisong helps me have a better understanding of traditional applications of the balisong. Pag mahahawakan mo ang partner mo, lalo na sa shoulder, alam mo that you are now in the correct range. It may look like an intimidation tactic, and I'm sure it can be done that way, but that is not what we are doing it for. There's a very specific reason for it. Diyan natin ginagamit ang checking and framing points para alam natin that malapit na tayo to deploy the balisong. First option is impact because that is the fastest way to deploy it out of your pocket. It also allows you to buy time in case you need to use other options. As martial artists, hindi tayo pumapatay. That is only our last option. Blade option is always last option. Framing and positioning ensures that you are in a safe position to deploy the tool regardless of whether it is an impact weapon or a bladed weapon. So when you're deploying the balisong in an impact manner, maganda na ang range mo. Because chinek mo muna eh, nilagay mo muna yung kamay mo sa braso niya or sa shoulder niya. So this is a frame and then we can do impact either to the super sternal notch or sa jaw niya. So we can always use this part of the balisong to ensure that impact is devastating but also non-lethal. Now, we're also going to use it 
parang stick, meaning we're going to use it as a short stick. So right here, we can implement impact on the jaw, and we can also use it to the other side. Talagang very versatile ang balisong pag ginagamit natin. So kung ginagamit natin ang siko, we can also hide the balisong. So first, fake muna sa siko, meaning our elbow. Then we can throw that backhand jab. So if you can take a look at how this now applies, notice that you have a lot of tools and options before using the blade. Beautiful design, traditional, and most of all, with Filipino martial arts, it is also high concept. This is a concept called kabilaan, meaning ang balisong pwede mong magamit on your right hand and your left hand. One of its important features is that since it is ergonomic, it can be comfortably switched from right hand to left hand in the middle of a fight or be opened in mid-fight. This is the last option where you can now implement the blade as part of an overall strategy of controlling the opponent, controlling the distance, throwing impact, whether it's with a headbutt and a shot to the groin, or you can also use that same technique, enter and use the balisong as leverage on the arm as part of a dumog strategy where you can either break the arm or throw him using the balisong Regardless of the options that you ultimately have, using it as an impact tool, these strategies, pagpasok mo at lalaban ka na, pwede mong magamit ang blade as a last option, only if you have the art to completely support you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. There are a lot of concepts among the Balisong practitioners, our Balisongero, that I showed here, and I really hope it's something that you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Stick around, stay tuned, more videos to come.